federal law enforcement agents are on standby in Seattle after this vandalism and arson on Capitol Hill. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Greg Copeland. I'm Jessica Janner Castro. Despite that news, the mayor insists the Department of Homeland Security has no plans to intervene at this point. King 5's Britt Moore is live for us outside the West Precinct with some more details. Britt. Yeah, Jessica, Greg, just 30 minutes ago, the mayor tweeted out that despite her conversation with the acting secretary of Homeland Security saying DHS had no plans to send federal officers into Seattle, there are now federal agents on standby uh, just to see what happens here later this weekend. This is an ongoing situation, lots of back and forth as people wait to see what happens. Mayor Jenny Durkin and Governor Inslee both say a federal tactical team is not needed to calm protests and protect federal buildings in Seattle. The New York Times is reporting that the Trump administration is on a different page and has deployed officers to be on standby outside of the city ahead of expected weekend protests. The federal response team is similar to those currently in Portland, where city leaders also said federal officers were not needed. Earlier today, Governor Inslee said the same is true for Seattle. The federal government needs not to inflame this situation. We all want to have peace and we want peaceful protests, which are legitimate and important in this moment. But we don't want to see things that would make the thing worse and throw gasoline on a fire. In response to questions about whether or not federal agents are headed to the city, a statement from the mayor's office says the mayor spoke with acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf this afternoon. Acting Secretary Wolf committed to notifying the mayor and Chief Vest if DHS were to increase their personnel in Seattle. Retired General Barry McCaffrey says he thinks it's all a political stunt. The feds are already here. Marshal Service, FBI, DEA, they work in great harmony with the Seattle Police Department and the King County Sheriff's Department. Uh, so I think this is a deliberate attempt to have provocative instances, in in Portland, Seattle, maybe Philadelphia, maybe Chicago. Uh, it, it's a, a real outrage, I think, at the end of the day. We are still working to find out just how many federal officers are on standby, but we do know, according to Mayor Durkin's recent tweet, she says, should federal forces intervene like they have in Portland, we are prepared to pursue every legal recourse. A federal judge in Portland has entered an order limiting the actions of federal forces there. We are prepared to seek the same relief if necessary. Again, we are just here at the West Precinct monitoring what happens here. You can see a few uh, barricades behind me. We will keep you posted on how things play out. For now, we are live in Seattle tonight. Britt Moore, King 5 News. All right, Britt, thank you. And as we mentioned, those federal officers are coming because of recent riots in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood. Last night, a group of about 150 people gathered at Cal Anderson Park, and some in that group went on a destructive crime spree. Several businesses were broken into, merchandise was stolen, and police say some of it was lit on fire in the middle of the street. Seattle Police Officers Guild President Mike Solon says he doesn't want a repeat of what happened last weekend where 12 officers were hurt. That continues. I'm not quite sure how much more we can take because we are not punching bags. We didn't sign up for this job to get hurt and maimed. Police say no arrests were made last night and no officers were hurt. Meanwhile, in Portland, the Justice Department and Homeland Security have opened investigations into the conduct of federal officers there. Last night, Portland's mayor, Ted Wheeler, joined protesters. He was hit with tear gas deployed by those federal officers. It is an unconstitutional occupation. The tactics that are being used by our federal officers are abhorrent. They do not act with probable cause. And tonight he tweeted, quote, what I saw last night was powerful in many ways. I saw what it means when the federal government unleashes paramilitary forces against its own people, end quote. Political experts say his appearance at the protest probably won't have any impact locally, but nationally it's a different story. Ted Wheeler becomes one of the leading mayors in the country, along with the mayor of Chicago, the mayor of Philadelphia, you know, big cities that are out there that are taking on the Trump administration. Today, a federal judge temporarily banned federal officers in Portland from arresting journalists, lawyers, or other legal observers until they're committing a crime. 
The Trump administration is facing another lawsuit from the state's attorney general who wants to put more restrictions on federal law enforcement in the city. Well, this weekend, an ordinance takes effect banning Seattle police from using tear gas and other crowd control weapons. The city council passed it earlier this summer after violent clashes between police and protesters. Police Chief Carmen Best tried to block the ordinance, arguing that she needed more time to retrain her officers. Now, in a letter to the city council tonight, Best said she is concerned about weekend protests after last night's destruction, saying, quote, if I am not allowed to lawfully equip officers with the tools they have been trained to use to protect the community and themselves, it would be reckless to have them confront this level of violence.